Welcome back to Sea Turbo Addicts channel. This is my Project 66 Mustang I'm working on right now. A lot of people have asked about what's that over there. It's a 1937 Plymouth I'm building for my wife as well. Um, I'm running, I built this 331 stroker um, with a 4R70W transmission. One of the problems that you're going to hear about with the Holly Sniper EFI and specifically the Bauman US Shift Transmission controller, quick four, quick two, quick six, quick eight, quick eight, or whatever, whatever the hell they all are, is about the throttle position sensor. The Holly Sniper has a throttle position sensor on it. Um, the Bauman US Shift controller needs a TPS signal. The Holly Sniper needs its TPS signal. You will hear nightmares left and right all over the internet. Don't do it, can't do it, can't piggyback off of what Holly's TPS is, et cetera, et cetera. I've seen it go both ways. I've talked specifically to Holly. I've talked to EFI Systems Pro. I've talked to uh, US Shift on multiple occasions. Um, I've browsed the forums. I've read and read and read and read and read. My original intent was to use this. This is a Casper Electronics TPS Breakout. Um, you can find it on CasperElectronics.com. This plugs in, and essentially all this is is a splitter. Uh, it splits the signal out so that you have uh, three additional lines. You only need one if you're running it this way um, with the bomb and controller, but there's particulars about how the ground is grounded and whatnot. So I keep reading and seeing what works, what, can I, what else can I do for a standalone TPS, and I wanted to show you exactly what I did. It may not apply to you, it, it doesn't apply necessarily just to a Ford Mustang. Um, you can configure this any way that you want. Uh, Holly Sniper EFI, you need the fast EFI bracket. It's 447, that is the bracket kit. That comes with this whole shebang. It comes with all kinds of other bullshit in case you need it. You also need a Holly 2040 trans kickdown stud. And lastly, I purchased in specific from Pace Automotive. Do do do. Bear with me. I'm trying to make sure it doesn't have any of my stuff on here. Pace Automotive Remote Mount TPS. This is built by Performance Automatic ATCM 6000. Okay, comes with a bracket, comes with a TPS. The TPS cable's adjustable. It's got like 52 inches of length. It connects where your old transmission kickdown is. So you use the transmission kickdown lab, um, connector for the cable. Um, I'm running a low car throttle cable here on the top side. The fast EFI bracket works with the Holly Sniper EFI. And this is how I decided to do mine, but I mounted the remote mount TPS in here, uh, and that plugs directly into the Bauman US Shift controller. I could not find information on direction really. It's scattered all over the place about what to do for a remote mount TPS when running a US Shift controller. This is what you do. Those are the parts. This works up as it bolts up. I have not tested it yet, um, but this is how you can connect it when you want to use a remote mount TPS. The bracket costs about 70 bucks. The uh, remote mount TPS from Performance Automatic or Pace, Pace Performance is where I bought it specifically is about a hundred dollars um, and then obviously the rest of the stuff is expensive as all can be but it's what you got to do when you want to have modern amenities hope this helps somebody um, I, I good luck in your projects and um, be sure to ask questions I'll follow up later when I get this thing running